I might find out about that. But then I just spotted this. I do believe that says Fitz and Floyd. Uh, that's kind of a cool piece of glass. Kind of looks like a Costa Boda. They have all these really nice table settings and I looked over and I see these candle holders. Okay, just look down here and this looked very desert rose-like. What are these? Are they like wall de decal things? I think they are. Little um, textured glass vase. I've been a reseller for nearly 40 years, and I can't imagine my life without thrifting. I've learned about a lot of things over the years, and I love to share my knowledge and adventures with you. So let's go be profitable and make it fun. Good morning. Well, actually, it's probably good evening when you're seeing this. I am out in the morning, and it is a beautiful, this is my favorite time of year. It's not too hot, it's not cold, it's sunshiny, and it's amazing, and it lifts my spirits and hopefully dries up this allergy stuff that I have going. Because some of you have noticed my voice has sounded a little gruff. Uh, so yeah, I am battling that a little bit. And this, it was the weird, the storms, and then the, the temperature shifts, and, and all of that just did a number on me. Okay, I found a store I've never been to. It's a Salvation Army, and I realized I haven't been to a Salvation Army in a very long time. So, let's get in here, see what we can find, and let's get shop done. All right, let's get in here. They've got orange tags, are 50% off. I wonder when they change their color, if it's on a Monday or like a Tuesday. But let's just go ahead. We got two choices for a lucky cart. Let's take that one. I see a wall of purses over here, so I'm gonna go check this out, but I also see a crazy colorful cat over here, $7.99. He's kinda cool, I, 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 I kinda like him. Now I am gonna do my 12 to 15 limit. I gotta get, I gotta get back on the wagon with that got myself a little carried away when I went to dog junkies I'm looking for a brand on this it's it's leather and it's this really cool patchwork zipper works really good let's see a name in there it's probably here standby there is no name there's no name and it's got these little skeletons and lips which makes it just a little on the quirky side and I know I've got people that love quirky. It doesn't have a price tag on it either. So I might find out about that. But then I just spotted this. I do believe that says Fitz and Floyd. That is a Fitz and Floyd vase. Unfortunately, it's super chipped up. If that wasn't chipped, I'd pick it up because it's really, really cool. But we can't, we can't pick it up with a chip. I am going to put this in the cart pending finding out how much it is, if the price is right. I will get it. If the price is wrong, we'll put it back. I'm also going to put the quirky cat into the cart. He's $7.99. Let's go ahead. I found this tag laying on the shelf, so I'm thinking it might go with this purse, so I'm going to bring it. Oh my. That's quite a purse. Quite a purse. Who makes you? Do you have a name? You have a name. No, you don't. You just have a little blank tag without a name. You are a purse with no name. All right. And I'm not really super motivated to pick up a purse with no name. That's kind of cute. Little handbag. I'm still learning about purses. It's not one of my expertises. So that's why I often will pick them up just based on what they look like. And then if it ends up being something really good, well, then that's, that's just a bonus. Of course, you know, I like the color of this one. I like the little, little amber accent on that. Let me get this one opened up. Stand by. Oh, it's just a Marona. It's like a Target brand. So we'll leave that one. It's back here. Little faux sheepskin. All right. I don't see anything else 
Super exciting. So let's go find the hard goods in this store. I do believe they're back over there. All right, little end cap here. Hugs and kisses glasses. This is neat. It's got some riggery on it. It is broken here though. It's not a super high quality piece. It's just got a nice decorative flair to it. But being broken, that is no good. 99 cents, all glassware and mugs. Wine glasses, drinking glasses, and mugs. Huh. Well, that's good to know. Let's take a peek. Oh, you know what? Look. He needs a friend. There you go. Okay, let's look over here. I like the look of these. They're vintage. I say they. I'm talking about the pattern. There's only one here. Um, this is $3.99. But I wonder if the 99 cents overrides that. I don't know. I don't know. Oh gosh, look at the Angry Bird cups. Are you guys plastic? You are. You're plastic. Very Angry Birds. And I don't see anything exciting in the coffee mugs. Nope. Not today. Lots of little end caps. Got some bubbles going on in here. That's usually a sign of Mexican glass when it's it's not it's still called a controlled bubble, but it's it's out of control. I call these out of control bubbles. <laughs> uh, not super high quality. Another little sugar thing. I learned about a brand called So was it Soha? Suha? Made in Germany. I picked up a red one that sold very quickly, but they also make clear ones that sell really well. So now I'll kind of be taking a peek when I see those little vintage sugar shakers. Uh, that's kind of a cool piece of glass. Kind of looks like a Costa Boda design, but it's not signed. That is $7.99. It's really cool. I like it. I just don't like it $7.99 worth, so we have to leave that one. And I did go ahead and look it up real quick. It is Costa Boda, and it sells for anywhere from $18 to $20, so can't pay eight for it, can't pay eight, but it's a good piece. They got lots of end caps here with goodies that we have to take a peek at. Oh, it says oregano. That's kind of a nice little piece. Has a chip though. Birds. I was attracted to this tiger, but now that I get my hands on him, he's very, very li low, lightweight, low weight, lightweight, and he came from Ross, so. Now, Ross doesn't necessarily mean it's a not a pickup for me, but it it's one of the factors that will make me say no, all things considered. So he's a no. This looks like Capitamonte, but this would be kind of a pistol to ship. And it is, well, now that I say that, it's not missing. No, it's a Bassano, which is still Italian. It's a nice, it's a nice piece. Oh yeah, here's a broken. I knew there had to be some brokenness on this because you almost never find these unbroken. Still a nice piece. I think somebody will end up picking that one up and putting it in their home. Chicken, the egg holder, missing a lot of paint. All right. They have all these really nice table settings and I looked over and I see these Candle holders. Oh, they came from Big Lots. <gasps> $9.99 down to $7.99. That's not a huge savings. They've got a nice look to them. Even the Big Lots wouldn't deter me from like picking these up for the right price, but definitely can't pay uh, $7.99. They have a really nice little art wall here. The little sleep bandit. He's a raccoon. Find your wings and soar. I like that. That looks like a mid-century piece right there. It's not like super appealing though. You know, it's, it needs to be a combination of, and I mean, it might be appealing to some, but I look at it and I'm, it, it looks to me like it's cheaply done. That's just, I don't know, Brent might be some masterpiece artist, but I don't get an emotional connection 
from that painting. And so that kind of veers me away from picking it up. Yeah, and I could be off. I could be off a whole lot, but that's how I deal with art. Um, because art generally has to stick around for a while and I have to look at it for a while. So I want it to be something that, uh, you know, is interesting. This is cool. See, I like this. This is not high-end art. This is a print, but I like this. The little antiquities. This reminds me of uh, my time on Antique Row in Philadelphia. They had the shops where they live up above the shops and then the little antique shops are like all in a row. It really, really, really reminds me of that. So this one right here has a lot of appeal to me. Number one, the colors. Number two, the subject matter. You got a cat and a dog sitting on a porch, you know, kind of a summer scene. You've got sunflowers all around. It is signed Beth Logan. It's $5.99. Let's look on the back and see. It is a print. No, yeah, just cardboard. Nothing super fancy, but I feel like I feel like that would sell really quickly because of what it is. I'm gonna pick it up. Got another end cap over here and I spotted this eagle. Unfortunately, it's broken. It's kind of a nice piece. Sunrise Cascade by Ted Blaylock. First issue in Majestic Flights. It's a Bradley from 2003. Somebody probably paid quite a bit for that back in the day. Clear glass vases. Not too much excitement there. It's a little dresser tray. This one is not that old. It doesn't feel like. But then the bottom looks older. I do quite well selling these. This isn't a real high end. Look at it. It's very, it's very thin and flexible. That, that has me concerned. Um, but it is only $6. I know I can sell this at the store. I, I probably will not offer this in the niche lady shop. I will simply sell this at the store for um, probably like about $25. I will look for better quality ones to put uh, that are worth going through the shipping process. Hampton Cottage. Very cheaply made basket with a name. Oh. And we cross the aisle over here to some dishware. See what we've got. We've got some Asian looking motifs. I'm just trying to figure out what they are. Can't quite. Birds. They're birds. Let me see if the big one has any markings. Nope. No markings. It's $8 for the big one and $4 for the small one. I am not going to pick those up little bigger than I want to deal with. I like these bowls. Or Ikea. Ikea makes good stuff, I gotta tell ya. Really like the Ikea quality. This looks very 90s. Let's see who makes this one. This is Baker Hart Stewart. The pattern is Michelle, made in Japan. I wonder, I wonder if those are from the 90s. Definitely definitely has the look. What have we got over here? A little tea set. Stoneware. Doesn't have a maker on it. Nope, not even on the big piece. Sometimes the little pieces don't have the maker's mark, but the big pieces do. Oh, the plates do. Oh, it's Homer Laughlin. It's Homer Laughlin. Okay, good quality. Wish the butter dish had its butter dish part. That might be worth picking up, but all right, nice quality. This is a nice quiet store. I got to say, I'm like, I think I'm the only customer in here, which is kind of strange because most like, you know, if you go to good, oh, you know what it is? It's Goodwill's senior day. So they probably, they'll come in here after they go visit the Goodwill's. He's clay art banana bowl with a chip. This is a pretty daisy and button patterned divided dish. They're asking 10 on that. I actually use pieces like this when I 
host a party or something, I like to use vintage dishware and chip and dips and such. Okay, just look down here and this looked very desert rose-like and sure enough, it is. It's Franciscan Desert Rose for $3.99. You know, if you watch my channel, you know I absolutely adore this pattern and somebody encouraged me to just start picking up some pieces and putting them away until I have a set. So I think this is going to be my first piece. I don't know, will I offer it for sale or will I keep it? I'm going to wrestle that decision. I am, but either way, $3.99 is a fantastic price for this and I'm going to pick it up. This end cap has a little Southwest flair going on. I don't know about you, but I really love when things are merchandised. It's one of the things I was very, very adamant about doing at my store. It's why we do the cubbies so that each cubby can have its own little kind of merchandising flair to it. Party light. I was getting to this turkey candle holder. He's $5.99. I don't know why I love him so much, but he, he's got some damage here that could really affect his resale value. A little ship in a bottle from Cuba. And then there's these guys. Oh my gosh, they have no weight. No weight at all. They're like paper thin. They're resin. They're, they're just made to look like, they might be aquarium decor. They might be, they might be. I thought they were actually gonna be like lava rock and then I was like, ooh, yeah, score. I've seen this one before. I forget who makes it, but there's a lot of that out there. Here is another basket. Italian. It is the Bassano, same as the other one. Again, very, very damaged on the flowers. I know that they are beautiful, but boy, oh boy, I probably wasn't really thought ahead of how hard those would be to keep from getting damaged. Oh, I see a Disney item. I think I've actually sold this one before. The thing is, I don't know if that's just a card. I feel like it might even just be a card. Oh, it's got some damage too. Okay, yep, we're gonna leave that one. Sorry, Mickey. What are these? Are they like wall de decal things? I think they are. They are. Wall decals. Dude, love is being owned by a Chihuahua. And that's kind of the truth too. They do, they do own us, don't they? They rule the roost. What is this? Avon Spayule. I don't understand what I have in my hand here. Don't know what it is. It's handcrafted in 2008. And it's $10. Look at all the hangers. It can hang any... Do you just... Do you change it? Do like... Is it some kind of a calendar season thing? I mean, it's kind of cool. Okay, I'm going to see if I can look this up and figure out what it is. Okay, well, I did look it up. It is called a Wheel of the Year, and all the words I see associated with it are pagan and um, ritual, and that, I just, it's not for me. It's not for me, but if somebody wants to make some money, and uh, that's not you know your philosophy come over here to the salvation army and pick that up for 10 bucks because it sells for like 50 to 60. i must miss the little snoopy bucket here okay this is the thing whenever you see the peanuts characters copyright 1958 1965 united feature syndicate this is on like almost every peanuts licensed item there is it does not mean it was made in 1965 that is the copyright date now that being said this does look vintage but it is also missing a lid that is my quandary but it is also only 99 cents so could i make one of my little assemblages with this guy i feel like maybe i could if he doesn't sell in the niche lady shop it's a cute little box it's plastic, not stone on there. Had that been stone, I would have been a lot more interested, but definitely plastic. And you can tell plastic because it'll be warm to the touch, whereas a stone is gonna be cool to the touch. It's gonna have a different feel. 
So that's why another reason, put your hands on stuff so you can figure out what it's made of. What in the world is that? A little Buddha wall plaque, I guess you said. That's, okay. I don't even know how I feel about that. And then there's some poo on the shelf. Okay, what is this? Color works. I see paint. All right, it's another one of those art kits. Well, who are you? You're just a statue with a brown drip glaze and there's a man and a woman. They're Gift Gallery Japan. They are $7.99 each. Again, definitely vintage, mid-century, worth a look up. Well, I couldn't find a whole lot. Now, this is the kind of thing that I don't know. I just, I would feel bad leaving these on the shelf. They're, they're kind of cool. They're very decorator pieces. Uh, the fact that there is the pair, and I think I will sell them as the pair. So if I was going to sell them separately, I'd probably put them at like 25. So I'm going to try, I'm going to try selling this pair for 50 bucks. I mean, I'm going to get home. I'm going to do a little more research and dig a little deeper and see what I can find. But right now I'm leaning toward the pair being worth about 50 bucks. Oh, it's a golf thing. I thought it was like another tiki looking item. Got some candle snuffers. Old candle snuffers can be worth a little bit of money too. So not something to pass by lightly. We've got the Indiana glass cats. I have several of these at the good stuff. If anybody wants one, I can put some in the shop. Another little box. You know, I've been picking up these little boxes anywhere I find them. This one says, Montgomery, Alabama. Unfortunately, the hinge on this is really tight. It's not broken though. Let's see. It's still, no. Okay, this one's a little rough. It's a little rough. We're going to leave that one. It's kind of primitive looking, probably like Hobby Lobby or some something of that sort. They're vintage inspired. They're not actually old. Let's see another little tapestry ring jewelry box. That's actually a really nice little jewelry box. I'm not sure you. That one is $5.99. It is made in Taiwan. It is vintage. You know what? We haven't picked up too much stuff today. I think I can add this in to the uh, repertoire for today. Let's head over here. See a cute little sake set down there, but I can tell it is more contemporary and not like a vintage piece. Little um, textured glass vase. It has a nice look. That's actually a, I think it's a, an antique brass top. And I'm just wondering if it, it feels like it would have had like a, a stopper or a lid on this. It's kind of a cool piece. Kind of like it. Hmm. Yeah, I'm, if I'm wrestling that much, I probably should leave it. I tend to find that. Like when I wrestle, like I'm not like 100% sure something's not grabbing me like boom, just like that. Those are generally the items I tend to have regrets about picking up. That looks like a bunch of Pioneer Women dishes. Let's see. Sure are. Buck 99. Good prices not something that I resale, but something cool to find on the shelf. It's very happy and colorful. I think that's why I like it. I'm all about the colors. What is this? It's got like built-in fork, spoon, and knife on these little food trays. Those are fun. Great little like party pieces. Remember, I have teenagers. Stuff like this Stuff like this can come in really handy with teenagers. They're orange tags, so they're like two bucks each. I actually really like these. <laughs> Am I silly? Am I silly? There's four of them. I'm grabbing them. I see some pretty little lampshades down here. These are, they call this Tiffany style. These are nice. They're actually half price, but I feel like they're missing some of the hardware. I feel like there would have been like a frame that actually makes it sit on the lamp 
And because I don't really have time to figure that out, I'll leave those for somebody else and take a look at the terracotta little sculpture here. Oh my goodness. Do you think she knows? Do you think she knows? And, and, and. Ooh, I should get that for the store. I see, nope, plastic. I saw the poppies and I thought, mm, maybe, maybe. Ooh, a little uh, aquarium pump. Is it battery or is it plug-in? Nope, it's plug-in. I like to have battery ones on hand just in case there is a power outage. I can pop those into my tanks and keep oxygen flowing. You know what? This is a really nice ring display for $3.99. I need that for the store. What is this? What is this? Oh, it's an elephant. Oh, you're beautiful, honey, but you're not signed or anything. That's a shame, but you are cool. Well, let's see, we got Chicago Opoly. These are cool, these uh, American flag shield wall hangers. They came from Home Goods. Very patriotic. Ooh. And then we have a Florentine waste basket. Look at that. Made in Italy. $5.99. That is a yes, please. Ooh, I love that game. I haven't played Connect Four in a very long time. I like that one. Uh, let's see. Oh, Blue's Clues. All right, let's peek through the pillows over here. Look at this little lamb. <gasps> Oh my gosh, how adorable is that? Oh, I'm dropping, I'm dropping pillows. Where did it go? Oh, no, oh gosh, I somehow managed to kick it way under here. Come back, pillow. Uh, I wonder if I could throw this in the washing machine though, because he definitely needs a cleaning. I feel like he's so worth $2. He's, he's amazing. I know I will get lots of advice on how to get him clean down in the comments and I really appreciate that. So I'm all ears, I'm all ears because that one, that one really deserves saving. All right, lots of sheets. This is another thing. I know these have value. I know people sell these for some really good money, especially in the holiday season, but I just cannot get my brain around reselling them. But there, there you go. There's two of them. Let's see what's on the red shelf. Nothing exciting. Oh, and then we just have some small appliances. I didn't really see a textile section, so I'm gonna go hunt that down. Oh my gosh, that's an old coffee maker. They have a pretty good sized furniture section here. And sometimes things can get put here that aren't furniture, so always worth taking a look. And I see some lamps over there I'm going to go take a look at, too. Let's see. Aw, I call this a Pixar lamp. If you know, you know, right? Who knows what I'm talking about? Well, I think that's going to do it for this trip. Stay tuned for the haul. I will go into a deep dive, talk more about the items that I picked up. And then after that, I am going to give you the regular recap. It didn't go away. It's just after my deep dive. So hopefully you stay for that and uh, learn a thing or two about the things that I purchased. Okay, that's coming up right now. That was a super nice Salvation Army. I am pleasantly surprised. It's in a very nice clean shopping center. It's a nice clean organized store. I will be back to this one. It is on Craig Road on the north side of Las Vegas. I don't know the exact address. You can Google and look it up. Uh, but definitely, definitely worth a trip over here. So, there we go. Another, another one to add to the list. Let me know in the comments if you liked it. If you like the Salvation Armies, let me know. I will mix up my shopping repertoire. Now, on to the deep dive. Hello. It is time to look at the goodies that we found at the Salvation Army. 
There's a cat here. Are you gonna be scared of the cat? I am gonna let Bougie out toward the end of this. Um, just keep that in mind. I'm not gonna do it while my attention is not completely on him. But we're slowly getting to the point where he can be out more and more and it's getting safer and safer. Yeah, does that make you happy? Yeah, yeah, okay. All right, let's get on to the haul. It is not a big haul today, and that is perfectly okay with me. I was fine with just finding, I think we have like 10, well, they're not all for resale, so there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, like nine, nine or 10 items that are for resale. So that's perfect to deal with. You know, the first thing I found was this crazy cat, and he's just, he's just lovely. <laughs> he's almost like a, like a Van Gogh painting is what kind of came to mind. He's made in China, but a lot of things are made in China now. I think it's become just acceptable that I think like 90% of the product in America is made in China. So you can't rule that out so much anymore for things that you are buying for resale, whereas there was a point where you could, and on certain items you still can. I know there are no, there are no definitives in this business, but uh, this guy's beautiful. He's absolutely beautiful. And he was only $7.99. Now, I, I'm, I, I couldn't find another one like him. I got like 20 to 25 as a value on him. If anybody knows any different than that, please let me know. But, but that's about what I found. And I always try to price on the conservative side versus pricing too high. Now, let me, let me just say something about that. When I list on eBay... I do list higher. I do err on the side of listing a little higher than it is. And that is because I have a make offer feature and it's eBay and uh, it's eBay. <laughs> but on my own site where I have a set price, I'm gonna price it to sell. I'm gonna price it to sell quickly because my fees are lower and just the speed of turning the things is worth it for me. We're on eBay, it's gonna sit for a while. I'm gonna to have to store it. So that is one of the factors in pricing. I don't know what he's doing. And then next to that cat, I found this interesting purse. The purse was $6.99. They did accept that tag that was with it that I found as the price. This thing is in like new condition. Really, really nice. And what I've, I couldn't find a maker name, but I call, I found it called a color block lambskin purse. And because we are in Halloween season, I thought this is going to sell fairly quickly. It almost has that kind of a Betsy Johnson kind of vibe going for it. So it is real leather. It's soft leather. It's colorful. It's fun and quirky. And I do believe I can get 20 to $25 for that. Then the tray. Now, I'm in a quandary. I know a lot of people really, really love these trays. I It, it is an older one. I can tell that now by the felt back and the, these little vintage feet that are on here. So it is an older tray. I was thinking it wasn't at first. Uh, so I think I will go ahead and list this. I think I will. I know, I always have these quandaries. And I have to make the video, so I... I have to make a decision pretty rapidly. Uh, $30 to $40 is where I'm going to place the value on this. And I paid $5.99. So that is a good margin. I cleaned it up. I got all the schmooze off of the mirror part. And it actually looks it looks really nice. Uh, and then I got the, uh, the Snoopy, the Snoopy jar. Now, I confirmed that this was a candy jar. So it would have had a lid. As a candy jar, if it's complete, they sell for about $30. Um, just being the Snoopy like this, I'm thinking I can get 12 to 15 on it. But then I'm also debating, do I just want to make a cute assemblage with it and find some little uh, vintage Snoopy things and make a little scene? So again, it's, it's a debate piece. I'm not sure if that one will show up in the nicheladyshop.com yet because I just might want to do that with it, you know, for the added value. These guys, you saw me talk about them 
when I bought them, I've done a little bit more research. Uh, they are mid-century. They are a drip glaze. There was uh, a lot of companies that made the drip glaze, but these happen to have their original stickers that say Gift Gallery Japan. Uh, so what I was able to find, again, if I was selling these individually, 20 to $25, so as a set, and they are, and they are ballet dancers, ballerina, and do you call, what do you call, what do you call a guy? What do you call a guy ballet dancer? Just a ballet dancer? It's not a ballerina. I, or is it? I don't know. What is the answer to that? Anyway, uh, as a set, as a pair, they're 40 to $50, and I paid $7.99 a piece. So all good there. This guy, what do you say about this guy? So adorable. I'm gonna figure out how to clean him. And then I do believe I am going to send this as a gift to Sandra Brock. Many of you also watch her channel. Uh, she is a sheep farmer up in Canada. And uh, she's near and dear to my heart because I raised goats. so. I know what that lambing season is like, only mine was goats. And uh, I, I just really feel like this is just such a perfect, unique item to send to her once I can get it all cleaned up. So that is what I am doing with the sheep pillow. Uh, the Florentine trash can. This one, really, I was so excited to find. Very Hollywood Regency. Uh, anything with the Florentine... I don't know if it's like a gold leafing or how they make these. They make boxes, trays, um, trash cans, obviously. They are great. Pick them up. People collect them. People love them. This still has its Made in Italy sticker on the bottom. And <clears throat> that will sell in the $40 to $50 range. Uh, the Folk Art is what I call this. The Folk Art. Folk art beth logan print uh is just fabulous and she is a well-known artist so larger pieces sell for quite a bit more so a piece this size is going to sell in the 25 to 30 dollar range and i paid just six bucks but look at all that detail so very very happy that i picked this one up and not too hard to ship even with the glass because it's not a big oversized painting. Nice jewelry box. It is vintage. And this one, what really got me is, is just how nice it is inside. You've got all the ring dividers, but look, you pick it up. You can put lots of jewelry down below. You can hang bracelets and necklaces. And if you hang the necklaces, then you've got the little pocket to keep them from getting tangled when you close the jewelry box. You've got the little quilted tapestry top on here. It does need a little bit of cleaning up. Not cleaning up so much as, um, what do you call it? What do you call it when you like, you fix up the, the scratches on wood? Anyway, that. Uh, but overall, this is a really nice $20 to $25 box. Oh yes, the Franciscan. Now, I love this pattern. I do love it. And I'm still like, do I collect it? Do I not? I don't really have room to collect it. I do love the bowl. I do love the bowl. It'd be a good first piece. Uh, so again, this one may not show up in the niche lady shop yet until I decide what I am doing with it. But I paid $3.99. Now, it, it's not worth a whole bunch. It's worth $15 to $25 on the resale market. So not a huge score or anything. Just a very emotional purchase for me. Uh, that I have to decide if I'm parting with. As I said in the video, I have teenagers and uh, these are fabulous. <laughs> They've got the fork, the knife, the spoon, the little dish, the cup holder. I don't know, they're just great. Uh, they were only $2 a piece. Now you can buy these online right now for about $5 a piece. Uh, so I saved some money, but that's something else I want to address. Many times I will get a comment that that's at the dollar store. That's, you know, a lot of it is a dollar store like these you could get, you know, for five bucks. But here is my thinking. 
for me to go find that item somewhere else when it's right there in front of me at the thrift store, I would have to spend time and sometimes gas to go do that. The time and the gas, that that far outweighs, even if I do pay a little bit more than a dollar, say if it's a dollar store item, I will gladly pay an extra dollar or two not to have to go to the dollar store and go hunt down something that may or may not be there anymore. So I'm fully aware some of these items come from places where I could potentially get it cheaper. But when I'm doing like a personal purchase item, it's okay. It's okay. I don't mind spending a little bit more, right? Yeah. Case in point, this 18 ring uh, display, you can get this off Amazon, but it's $19 on Amazon. I got it for $3.99, so I guess it's not really case in point. Had this been like $5 on Amazon, I still would be ahead of the game paying for it at the thrift store. Or even if it was, let's say it was $3 on Amazon, I'd still be ahead of the game because I didn't have to spend the time to go hunt it down and find it. Does that make sense? Anyway, I'm really happy about that because that's gonna display a lot of really cool rings at the store. And that is our haul for the day. Right. So we're gonna take you out with a song, right? Get down, boogie oogie oogie. Get down, boogie oogie oogie. He knows I have this. Yeah. I can't. I can't even keep his attention. As long as I have that in my hand, I usually I have to go get it afterwards uh, in, in order, you know, to get his, his attention on me. Right? Yeah? I love you. <laughs> yeah. He's like a teenager. All right. You, go be profitable. And make it fun. We'll see you on the next one. You want that? You're... What do you say? What do you say? Want a pistachio? Want a pistachio? There you go. He did it.